Hey, welcome back to the channel for episode 2 of Glory Glory FC United here with FC United of Manchester of course that's the first time I've said that in a long time in the videos because you know I stack them up so yeah I think you get what I mean so if you missed yesterday's transfer special which opened the brand new series I suggest you go and watch it because it's pretty damn good Obviously, I'm going to say that because I am biased towards it. So, as you can see, we've had quite a few, quite a reshuffle. A uh, few players coming in, a few players going out. Uh, main signings: Luke Hume on loan um, from Manchester United. <laughs> coincidentally, uh, he was on loan at Charlton last year. Uh, we managed to get him. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. He uh, he did pretty well in the Championship. So, hopefully, he can make the step up for us. Um, who else we got? We got a pretty much. Uh, two really, really good defenders coming in. Uh, Gilmo, he, this guy's actually turned out to be my record signing. £12.5 million. Pounds. Yes, I know. And uh, Dara Carney, we've been looking at this guy for ages now. That's not a joke. Uh, I really did not want that to come across like that again. I did the same thing in yesterday's video. But there we go. Um, also, um, Pastoriza from Birmingham. Uh, this guy, Kraken signing as well. Um, Premier League player playing in League One. So... Yeah, we had to get him. Uh, Ridley, obviously, um, here, here still, which is really good. Um, we've got Alberto and John back in on loan as well. Not sure what's going to happen because we've got three loans in. And I think the limit for the Premier League is only two. But it let me do it. So, if that comes to bite me in the bum, then, yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll see. But... I mean, we're in the Premier League. I mean, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. We got Butland in. I might not. I might have forgot to tell you about that in yesterday's video. But Jack Butland comes in as our new backup goalkeeper. I think he. I think he'll do a decent job for us if he needs to come in. So yeah, I mean, Joe Hart probably won't be used now, to be perfectly honest. But there we go. So without any further ado, let's get into the opening game. We're playing Leicester and Leeds in today's video. So hopefully we can get a win. Or maybe two. I mean, I don't know if I'm being optimistic because if we have a look at this, then yeah, we're going to get creamed by everyone according to this. But I think we've just got to go out there and do what we can do. So we are going with Ivusik in goal, a back four of Akani, Gilmo, Brown and Viga, John Davis and Hemmings in the three-man midfield and Pastoriza and Ridley supporting Hume up front. Why can you do that instead? Yeah, no, that, I wanted to do that, didn't I? So Davis plays in that role. Hemmings, yes, that's better. You can, ah, uh, what about if you two were to swap over? But, but do it again. Yeah, do, do it that way. Tell you what, you go to the ball in midfield role. You go to the box to box midfielder. That looks a bit better. I'm always used to having John on the right hand side of midfield, so there we go. So let's get into this game. Home to Leicester. Certainly hoping we can um, get a positive result here. I don't know, you know, if we can if we can get 40 points. I'm guessing that's going to be enough. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess it just depends on uh, how we do in the opening few games. I mean. After the Leicester and Leeds game, we've got three really tough games in a row. I think we're facing uh, Liverpool, uh, Man City and Spurs, I think. Definitely Liverpool and Tottenham. Let's do that because... Yeah, I mean, I, I, needless to say, I'm nervous. You might be able to tell it in my voice. We are going with positive mentality. But, oh, Lord, uh, we need to change that now, don't we? So, opening 10 minutes, we've not conceded yet, which is good. Okay, so, we do have a highlight. Brown plays it to Viga. Viga up to Hemmings. Hemmings plays it back to Brown. Gilmo plays it over to Davis, to Hemmings. Oh, Hemmings gives it away there, that's awful. But Viga does intercept. Is back with Hemmings again. Puts it through Tyrese Ridley. Tries to... Try oh. Bit of a mix up there in the box. We could have done a little bit better than that. But um, encouraging start, I'm going to say. Now, Akani to Pastoriza. Back to Akani. Plays it to Davis. Back to Hemmings. Aiden Hemmings! Oh, he scores! Oh, what a horrible, horrible error by the keeper. 
But Aidan Hepping scores our first goal in the Premier League to put us 1-0 up over Leicester. Oh, my Lord. That was... Oh, uh, we've got to see this again. I mean, I do apologise to any Leicester fans watching. Davis plays a lovely ball to Hemmings. Hemmings hits the shot. Oh, Cobalt. Oh, Lord. But we do go 1-0 up. Awesome stuff. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, what a howler. Unlucky do. I mean, I would have been fuming if that was my keeper. A uh, little bit risky play there, but we do manage to clear it. But it is with the Leicester defence. Plays it back to Cobalt again. Because now it's uh, with Leicester. With their superstars. Ricardo whips it in. Uh, Gilmo does manage to get rid of it. And Ridley does manage to keep it in play. Niall John now. Potential breakaway here. It is now with Hume. Our first look at him. Now this right-hand side. He's made it past his man. Hume puts it into Niall John. Oh, he's hit the post. There's a reason. What can he do? He's still got it. He is on side. He puts it back to Viga. Plays it to Hemmings. Back to Davis. Davis to Akani. Oh, uh, what? Oh, it took you that long to work that out. Well done. Oh, God. The info final heads it over for Leicester. And we've survived that little scare. But uh, needless to say, we are on the back foot in this game. I mean, we're nearly at half time. We are still 1 0 up. I mean, our only shot on target is our goal. Uh, Dwight McNeil is with Ricardo now. It is with Leicester again, and they do equalise just before half time. And uh, it's been coming the last few minutes. That has certainly been coming. And uh, that's the least Leicester deserve at the minute. Uh, but 1-1 um, at half time. To say I would have accepted that. A absolutely. Um, I'm pleased with how things are going. We're not doing too bad. I mean if you look at those stats we are doing bad. But in terms of the score line. We're not doing bad. We didn't make a cock up. They did. Okay, so we do have a throw in. Vega plays it to Ridley. Plays it to Hemmings. Hemmings puts it in. It's pissed. Oh, he's headed it over. Oh, that was a glorious opportunity then as well. But unfortunately, could not take it. Okay, who have we got here? We've got uh, Gilmo. Forward to Hume. Hume heads it back to Hemmings. Hemmings puts it over the top. Tyrese Ridley is onside. Tyrese Ridley. Pistol has got an open goal. Oh, my God. Oh, and he has scored. Oh, my Lord. I thought he cocked it up again. But Gonzalo Pastoriza scores his first goal for the club. Puts us 2-1 up over Leicester City. Oh, my God. I would not have been happy if he missed that. Hemmings plays a lovely ball there to Ridley. Ridley controls it very well. And uh, but I'm, I'm surprised he didn't hit that first time. But in all fairness, he does really well to win the ball back. And he scores his first goal for the club. And we're 2-1 up over Leicester. Awesome stuff. Come on. Right. I think it's substitution o'clock now. So, uh, oh, what am I going to do here? I think what I'd like to do is bring Ben Hurst on. Um, maybe bring Vestergaard. I think we'll bring Vestergaard on for Michael Brown. Michael Brown's done fairly decent so far. Hurst, his... I mean, he... He's left winger, really. So, if we bring him on for... Stereza, it's probably not about... See, he's, he's always aggressive, this dude. I really don't understand why. He, he was aggressive before. He's gone out on loan to a few places. And he's still aggressive. <laughs> Let's just hope he doesn't get sent off, eh? Right, um, I think the last change will probably be Alberto... I'm really not sure. But um, 10 minutes left, or just over. We do have the ball in there half again. Niall John. Niall John was in. Tyrese Ridley, and he scores, and it's 3 1. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. They, they literally couldn't have gone any better than this. Tyrese Ridley scores as well. He's probably, you know, other than Andy Nelson, he's the one that's been here through everything. I think we signed him when we were in the National League. And. Oh, Lord, literally. He has been an absolutely breath of fresh air. We are going to bring... I think we're going to bring Clarkson on for Hemmings. Because he is tiring. Ridley is tiring as well. So, and we'll give um, Hume the full debut. 
and oh lord I was not expecting this whatsoever we have we have not been the better team here by far I mean we've had three shots on target uh, we've had four shots on target scored three goals and yeah Leicester were by far the better team there but credit to us we had the chances we took them and we beat former Premier League champions in Leicester City 3-1 in the opening game of the season it doesn't get much better than that does it I mean my main boy scored I mean uh, Pastoriza had a really good debut in the end uh, Ridley was solid throughout the whole thing and um, Hemmings as well uh, you know three of my three of my boys you know Hemmings and Ridley we've had for years Pastoriza was a new signing and needless to say that has paid off in the opening game of the season and we're still awaiting the media reaction I would probably cry if this crashed now because I highly doubt we'd ever be able to repeat that performance there we go it's fine oh, phew. it was a terrific performance absolutely yeah I'm I, I mean yeah there we go I mean I'll, I'll go with that we needed a bit of luck here and there but uh, yeah I mean we, it couldn't have gone much better than that at all yeah, let's have a look at these what have we got would have liked to see Pastoriz along some different teammates. Are you... Yes, yeah, you certainly will be. Do we think that did not see that coming? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it couldn't have gone much better than that at all. Yeah, Pastoriz scored a goal. Um, yeah, I mean, ugh, could have seen, could have even scored another one from that header, couldn't he? Before he actually scored. But yeah, I mean, like I say, guys, it could not have gone much better than that. Um, KG Coffin. I mean. Yeah, the game's over. You don't really want to comment on it. We do because we are um, we are really happy with that. It was a fantastic, pretty solid debut for Tom Davis. Yes, uh, we have a good working relationship. Poz and I, we get along well. Best of guard. I don't want to rush him because he's probably going to be a bit part player anyway. To be perfectly honest, and anyway. <laughs> So um, we are still obviously looking to improve the team in certain areas. It would be nice to go to the 4-2-3-1. But um, at the minute, that formation we played just then worked quite well because it's more of a defensive one as well. And yeah, it couldn't have gone much, couldn't have gone any better than that, to be honest. We're going to have Decor and Bakinson hopefully back for the next um, game against Leeds, which is eight days away. Uh, so obviously we'll be playing that in today's episode, uh, which is um, awesome stuff. And, uh, yeah, um, Luke Hume, unfortunately, did not really have much of uh, the ball there, did he? But um, if we try and swap him to an advance forward, that's fine. Some issues, but it's it's a green. It's not red or orange. It's more of a green just there. That's fine. <laughs> that is absolutely fine. So hopefully we can get more out of him in the next game. That would be fine. And hopefully Decor can play a part as well. That would be great. I need this to say, guys. I'm really happy with that opening game. Now, um, let's see if we've got any more transfers to show you. And uh, let's see what we can do against Leeds. Right, guys. We are back now for the Leeds game. And uh, we have confirmed the signing of Harry Winks. Um, but we've also got another signing in as well. And he just might have broke the transfer record again. Now, I've literally just seen this down here. I will sort that out. But um, as you can see, they're actually disappointed with the new signing. Because it is Carl and Grant coming in from West Bromwich Albion. Um, I think overall we're paying nearly £18 million for him. I think it's £5 million up front. The rest over instalments. Which... You know, the never-never. It will, you know, pay off. But in terms of, like, the transfer spend, it must be quite a lot, if I'm honest. But, uh, yeah, can I can I change these? Can I change these? Here we go. Yeah, let's just change that. Uh, ooh, Lord. There we go. That looks a bit healthier. Right, let's try that again. I just... I might have to, uh, yeah, I, it, that's definitely changed. So that's um, that's screwing with me. But in terms of the um, starting lineup, I don't think I've made any changes, to be perfectly honest. It's just changes to the bench. Obviously, we've got Winks and Grant on the bench. Um, Alberto and Clarkson are actually injured. Clarkson was injured in a training session with Ben Hurst. So, um, yeah, that guy's a... 
yeah, uh, a little bit scary, if I'm honest. Um, I think I am actually going to make a change. I'm going to bring McCallum on for a Carney. Because I don't know. I mean, I think the position we had at Carney playing in, probably not his more suited one. So if he's going to be a player I mean he obviously still can play left back but he's probably going to be more used as a centre back with Brown or Gilmo or whoever needs a break really uh, but don't forget we've got Vestergaard we've still got Callum Doyle we've still got Gomez so in terms of centre backs I'm absolutely fine with what we've got so literally just in one change McCallum coming in for a Carney uh, we need to give Harry Winks a squad number he can have the number he can have the number 23 actually because Montoya, I don't think, is going to be making his debut anytime soon. Probably with him, he'll probably play in the Carabao Cup, which we've been drawn at home to Middlesbrough, by the way. So, um, yeah, um, I guess we'll see. But Leeds um, got absolutely thumped by Arsenal in their opening game. So this probably wouldn't be a bad time to play them. But um, I think a draw would still be absolutely fine. I'm not going to actively look to attack. I'm just, oh, no, I do not want to quit football manager. Of course I don't. But yeah, I mean, it would be nice if we can win this game, of course. Give ourselves two wins from two. But, you know, a point away from home against Leeds, who I think have been ever-present in the Premier League uh, since the save began. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm optimistic, you know, if we can get a draw, a draw is absolutely fine, can sneak a win, then that'll be even great, that'll be even greater, but, you know, I'm, you know, probably still expecting to lose this, to be honest, right, oh, oh, Ridley's intercepted that, and Ridley, he's on the counter-attack, he's got, he's got someone to his left, he's got Pastriza to his left, what's he gonna do, Pastriza, oh, he left it wide, oh, he made me excited then, dude, Oh, it's a shame. Oh, I got me so excited for that then. And then, yeah, I mean, he was in loads of space for that move as well. But fair enough. I mean, it was a good interception by Ridley to begin with. Uh, but, yeah, I think I'm going to encourage because I'm, I'm encouraged by the start. Right, Vega to Ridley. Ridley puts it in. Hume with the header and he scores. Luke Hume scores his first goal for the club. Um, open goal. Straight header. Straight in the back of the net. We go 1-0 up. Come on, baby. Oh, what a, what a goal as well. I mean, I say what a goal. It was a simple finish. Ridley with a cracking, cracking cross. And that defender made a meal of it. Luke Hume, open goal. It's in. 1-0. And we're doing pretty damn well to get things off here. Oh, you absolute beauty. Come on. That makes my half-time talk a little bit easier. Um, I'm delighted with the performance because we are, we're not only playing really well, we're absolutely dominating leads on, like, shots and on target. I mean, they have had more shots, but we've had more shots on target, which is one of our weaker options, if I'm honest. But, yeah, so far, two wins out of two. So far, we still have half an hour left. We c this game could turn around. But are we going to intercept that? We do. Viga plays it to John. John. Oh, he's giving it away. Ali, it's now Milot. Uh, Milot. I have no idea. Elliot. At the top. Memo wins it. It's with Davis now. Davis plays it back to McCallum. McCallum plays a nice ball to Pastoriza now. Bringing the ball forward. Okay, what's he going to do? Pastoriza. Oh... I don't know if that was a cross or a shot. I would like to think that was a cross, but I honestly don't know. Okay, what are we going to do? Hemmings with a lovely interception there. Plays it back. No, it's with Hume. Hume puts a nice ball out to Pastoriza. Pastoriza whips it in. Hume! Oh, he scores again! Luke Hume with his second goal of the game. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, it's 2-0. Oh, Lord, this is going cracking. Hemmings, Hume, plays a lovely ball to Pastoriza. I honestly thought the Leeds defender would actually intercept that. But Hume, oh, I honestly thought the keeper had got to that. That's why I wasn't that optimistic about the shot. But we go 2-0 up. Luke Hume, a double. Oh, come on. This is awesome. We're, 20, we're less than 20 minutes away from opening our Premier League campaign with two wins from two. Oh Lord, Viga, we got we, we have a problem, but no problem because we, uh, Guillermo can go out and cover that position, and Akani can come on for Viga, so that is fine. We're gonna bring Carlin Grant 
Actually, we're not going to bring him on. We'll bring Harry Winks on for um, Hemmings. Let's do that. That sounds good to me. Oh, oh, literally, I am absolutely buzzing. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, though. Now, Armstrong will collect this ball back for Leeds. If Leeds do get another, if Leeds get a goal back here, I'm going to be a little bit... Uh, it's with Phillips. It is still with Leeds. But, oh, Pastoriza is intercepted. Pastoriza put it to Hume. Oh, oh, okay. Leeds player sent off. That is absolutely fine. He was clear. He was, you know, they were, he was past the last defender. So, in all fairness, the Leeds player didn't really have much of a choice then. But um, Tyrese Ridley, uh, Carlin Grant can come on for his debut. Play on the wing. Why not? He, he will probably uh, play more up front than on the wing. We're giving that away and uh, that's not troubling the keeper, thankfully. And she plays it to Brown. Plays it back to him. We've got a little bit of lag here, guys. I do apologise. Oh, um, what's he done there? Ali's through and he's got... That doesn't look like it's going to count. Ali scores. Fractionally offside, apparently. Is it going to VAR? It is going to VAR. Goal disallowed. Thank you. And that was a horrible mistake. That was a horrible mistake. But thankfully, we've got away with it. And also, we're a few minutes away from another win here. Colin Grant's going to take a free kick. Sit in and uh, the keeper does collect. We've got three and a half minutes left of added time. And Gilmo does intercept that. Gilmo puts it to Carlin Grant. Carlin Grant puts it in. That's three. Oh, he scores. It's 3 0. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Gonzalo Pastoriza has scored. It's Leeds United 0, FC United of Manchester 3. Oh, my God. Oh, Carlin Grant. That was a lovely cross as well. With his right foot. Pastoriza back of the net. 3 0. Oh, my Lord. We have absolutely demolished them today. Oh, Lord. And not only did we outplay them, we absolutely destroyed them. 15 shots, 10 on target. Oh, that, all of that credit goes to, you know, Pastoriza. Hume, of course, Hume. Hume was absolutely incredible today. Two goals and 3-0 win over Leeds United. That was absolutely incredible. Oh, I am jumping for joy, even though I'm sat down in my chair. Oh, my God. Vega's injured, only out for a few days. That is absolutely fine. Oh, Lord. I am absolutely buzzing with that, guys. I can't, I can't express just how happy that has made me. What an opening campaign. Beat Leicester 3-1. Beat Leeds 3-0. And that is just incredible. That just goes without saying that that was just incredible. Now, in terms of the next episode, I think what we are going to do, we're going to play Man City and Middlesbrough offline, but we will come back for Liverpool and Tottenham in the next episode. I mean, Leicester and Leeds are big teams in the Premier League. Leicester, I'd say more so than Leeds, especially on recent years. But Liverpool and Tottenham, they're obviously bigger. And we, well, I guess I want to show you us testing ourselves against the bigger teams. Because, you know, I know like what the, the season pre previews are and stuff. But we have just gone to Leeds, who are predicted to finish 12th, and won 3-0. We have gone to Leicester. Are we at home to Leicester, and we beat them 3-1. Wolves, I don't know why these two are predicted to finish much higher than what we are. It really astounds me. Honestly, it does. I really don't get it. But it does not matter because we've got two wins from two. And we're actually first as well, which is incredible at this point. Now, obviously, main thing is to survive this year. I'd like to finish somewhere between 12th and, I don't know, 17th, maybe 16th. I mean, realistically, I don't know. We're expected to go down. I think the board probably expects us to go down as well. We have spent over... I think it's quite close to 40 million now. I mean, if you think of Colin Grant as well. I mean, Human Loan, Pastoriza, uh, Davis, Agomo. Agomo was our um, record signing. 
but yeah, I mean, that is just absolutely incredible start. I can't, I couldn't have asked for a better start than that at all. Hume was absolutely incredible. You know, it, it might be that I just don't use Alberto because I don't know what the rule is for the loans. I've not had like a notification to say, oh, you've got too many loan signings. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. Let me know in the comments um, if this could really backfire on me because I'm honestly really not 100% sure on that. If they're going to maybe give me a points deduction for it, I really don't know. But it might be that I can use four loan signings. I'm really not sure. But guys, thank you very much for watching this video. We will be back tomorrow for Liverpool and Spurs. So make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn your post notification bell so you don't miss out on that video. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video as well. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Ciao for now. You guys take care. Thank you very much for watching this video guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up and do hit the subscribe button if you are new as well. Lots of different content now on this channel guys. Football Manager, WWE Supercard, Wrestling and Football Prediction. You can follow me on Twitter at pplays 300 and on Twitch at ParkerPlays300. If you would like to get your name in the credits for each of the videos that I post, make sure you subscribe to the channel and most importantly be nice, be awesome and I'll chat to you soon. Ciao for now.